Well, uh, it's only 23 days until the Queen's Jubilee, um, which is sort of just a, a slightly um, shorter wait than you would have if you were queuing at Birmingham or Manchester <laughs> airports. But anyway, tributes to Her Majesty are being thought of and created and pouring in all the time. Yes, and the artist Ben Mosley, whose fans include Mike Tyndall, of course, married to uh, Zara Princess. That doesn't use her royal title, but anyway. Uh, and Ed Sheeran as well, the pop star, has painted a portrait of the Queen for Hello Magazine to commemorate her reign in this Platinum Jubilee year. Well, the editor-in-chief of Hello Magazine magazine Rosie Nixon joins us now uh, together with the uh, artist himself Ben Mosley and we can show you his creation for the Jubilee and uh, stunning it is I have to say um, it's a bit um, it's a bit might be it's not traditional it's for a people modern ben. Interpretation. Uh, yes and a very nice interpretation tell us what you put into it or what you're trying to reflect here well it's like it's a reflection of the of her majesty's life I wanted to use 24 karat gold because I think that's synonymous with grandeur and monarchs and uh, yes. it adds a richness to the piece and I uh, wanted to make it look like a stained glass window with different elements and milestones of her life really that people could have a look at. And so what can we spot in there then when you're talking about milestones in her life? I can see Buckingham Palace in one corner and I can see some guards uh, men but what else could you draw out? For that? I think there's corgis in there somewhere. I'm looking yes. for them but I can't spot them. Oh there they are on the left hand yeah, side. That's right. Yeah so Basically, just different things related to uh, the 70 years that the Queen's been in. So you've got, obviously, the marriage, um, and then you've got the guards and Buckingham Palace, and then the Royal Cipher. Oh, yeah. So it was just a case of trying to do as many different things as I could that, that related to the Queen in my style, you know, and it was about creating an experience that the viewer could look at in a more... in my way, really. Mm -hmm. Well, well Rosie, your fan. Ben has uh, created the image... What are you going to do with it from the magazine's perspective? Well, I mean, isn't it beautiful? It's the first time that I've seen it in the flesh and it's really blown me away this morning. Yeah. It's just stunning. So, I mean, really my main, you know, idea around this is for as many people to see it and enjoy it as possible. So we've got it in the magazine um, this week as a centrefold. So we're encouraging our audience to take it out of the magazine, put it in your window, show your support for the Queen. And then we've got plans to gift it to Her Majesty Ooh. so that it will hopefully either appear in the Royal Collection or maybe... Maybe we will auction it and then um, put those funds to perhaps the Queen's Commonwealth Trust or one of the charities close to her heart. Bet she hasn't got too many that look like that. <laughs> I know. It, it's almost like a stained glass window effect, yeah. don't you think? And she's smiling in it, which is, which is yeah. nice. Well, I wanted to make her a young queen. I mean, she was obviously a really beautiful queen. So, you know, trying to capture that and obviously mm. all the milestones in her life was important. It's an honour, really, to depict our greatest monarch, you know, yeah. along with mm -hmm. serving. Mm. Oh, no. uh, look, we, we, we started by talking about some of your high-profile fans. Do you feel a bit of pressure knowing that the royals will be looking at your work? And, and you know, do you get feedback from them? Uh, well, it's an honour. I mean, obviously, I think they're a bit too busy to be giving me, <laughs> to be giving me feedback. But um, it's just nice to be able to do what I love and um, sell my work for a living and live, live the dream as a, of an artist. It's tough, but... You know, yeah. I love doing it. It's you amazing. know, Rosie, from your point of mm -hmm. view, it's interesting that you're you're doing this. Um, what will be in the middle of the magazine? Will mm -hmm. it? Or do you yeah, in the middle out? of the magazine, so you could pull it out. Yeah. But we've also produced some merchandise. Well, let's see a T-shirt. There's yeah. a cushion with the yeah. design on, which I've ordered just love myself. Royal merchandise, don't yeah. they? And the hello, it's sort of very nice. much a hello thing. Yeah, isn't something it? to really keep. I mean, the cushion is absolutely <laughs> stunning with this image on it. So I'll be having that on my sofa. Oh, yeah. Yeah, to remember uh, this moment in history. Well, I think I think what's nice is, I mean, today we're all a bit worried. We'll say, you know, what is wrong with the Queen? Why is she not yeah. uh, doing the opening of Parliament? Mm -hmm. And um, uh, it appears from here on in she will do less rather than mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully she'll she'll still be. OK, but I mean, here, this is something this is something happy. This is something joyous, yeah. which is what this Platinum Jubilee should be. Yeah, I think it's the chance for everybody in the nation to show our appreciation yeah. to the Queen. You know, the 70 years of service is quite extraordinary. And this is a time when we can all go out and show her how much she means to us. Yeah, absolutely. Ben, how long did it take you to do this? We're watching you work in a way there. Mm. Well, like it, um, it took me between seven to ten sort of days but I mean obviously getting it filmed I've got a film 
guy that I work with called Anthony. He does a really good job filming it and editing my work all the time. Well, look at that. That's and the it, gold yeah. leaf. Yeah, yeah. 24 karat gold leaf. He's, yeah. yeah, he's amazing. And basically, obviously, with him filming, I have to try and do things differently. It's a bit more stop-start because, obviously, you want to try and capture the best shot. So, so know. Rosie, what if you hadn't have liked it? <laughs> there was a slightly nervous moment when Ben told me he'd completed the artwork and it was uh-huh. shown to me, but I just fell in love with it immediately. It's so original. I mean, and it sparkles, it shines, you know, it's a different depiction. I think yeah. we all like something that's going to be eye-catching and a bit different. And, and Rosie, you had the idea to ask Ben to do this when you saw him doing exactly what we were seeing on that screen at a, at a charity event and that's you saw right. it firsthand for yourself. Well, yeah. pure talent. Yes, ben. yeah, I was at a Young Lives versus Cancer fundraiser event um, at the end of last year and I saw Ben live painting which he often does at auction events um, and it was just incredible he created this sort of stunning piece of art that then sold for tens of thousands of pounds for the charity mm. <clears throat> and we had a little chat together there and sort of came up with this idea together so it's been a delightful project to work on Ben's a great guy really talented and um, it's been a real honour to work with him. Well wherever your portrait goes long may she <laughs> Look over us, yeah. and yeah. Uh, yeah, and really good for you, I suppose, Ben, to be contributing to this jubilee. I hope you get the right result uh, where you want um, in the, in Her Majesty's collections. Oh, it's been an honour, and thank you, Rosie. You've been brilliant, honestly. Oh well, we amazing. hope that Her Majesty will get to enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. and look, if you at home want to enjoy it, remember mm. you can buy this week's Hello Magazine. Have a little copy for yourself, or indeed buy some of the merchandise. Uh, lots of it, I believe. Yeah, all available on the Hello website. On the Hello website, yeah. good stuff. Okay, thank you so much. Rosie Nixon, editor-in-chief of Hello and Ben Mosley, the expressionist artist behind this absolute masterpiece. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, more royal things to talk about after the break. We've got the royal editor of Vanity Fair, Katie Nicholl, in studio to talk about uh, the Queen and her non-appearance uh, in Parliament.